Well, the stream title is still talking about burning faces. Not gonna switch it up now. You remember when you were happy to first pick that Nissa? That Nissa used to be like one of the better green cards in the cube. I was also excited to first pick that Nissa for a while. Nissa and Rafellos were just like great cards. Face fuck Friday. It's not Friday. It's Tuesday. It's face fuck Tuesday. Don't be misfor misinforming, folks. Are we Red Rocket all day? We're Red Rocket until I'm done with it. Until I feel like changing the stream title. <laughs> it's Friday somewhere. I don't think that's true. I don't I don't think that's the case. I think we should change it to a two-day work week. Where it goes Monday and then Friday, 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 Saturday, Sunday. More Saturdays. You get what I mean, though. Uh, so normally I would dip into green or uh, white from other brunes here. Let's take a guy's cradle. You can take guy's cradle and stay mono red. Just have it be like a soul land. A one day work week. Well, Fridays are part of the work week, right? Red work re work week. Yes. Say toy boat five times fast. Okay, toy boat five times fast. Good evening to you, taters. Only 4.40 where I'm at. I guess that's starting to dip into the evening, early evening. Wow, there's some, like, awesome cards here. Let's take a Magda. Give me the fucking dwarf! Hey, Bim, thanks for the sub. Thanks for 55 months. Yeah, day drinking. Just a little bit. Cheers, everybody. I uh, Some booze that I ordered came in. So I'm celebrating by drinking the booze. That's a celebration-worthy occasion, right? Your booze gets delivered. Rival Master Cradle. Maybe we're a Crater Hoof deck. Good evening, Leet Troll. I have not seen the new Magda. You got a link? You can order booze online? I do all the time. I want this Soul Scar Mage. I want this Lotus Petal too, though. Fuck me, am I right? You need a special occasion to drink good whiskey. Sometimes that special occasion is that you have a nice bottle of whiskey. Uh, I dig that. Is it way marked up? It depends on where you order from, Jack. You gotta shop around a little bit sometimes. But not necessarily. The price fluctuates a lot based on where you're ordering from. And the shipping for liquor laws is pretty high variance, too. Magda, the Horde Master, Dwarf Berserker, one in a red, legendary creature, Dwarf Berserker, whenever you commit crime, create a tap treasure token, that's like when you cast something, when you target the things, yeah, the flavor text does that, only once per turn, lame, sack three treasures, get a 4-4 four, four dragon token with flying in haste, oh, that rules, <laughs> that's, a, that's a very good ability, that's uh, super good, yeah, I'd play this card in cube, yeah, Magda Fox, Dragons, specifically. Magda fucks dragons. Yes. Really think I should be looking at Boros at this point. But, that'd be less red and thus worse. Can dragons give consent in magic lore? I'm pretty sure. Dragons and magic are like loosely based on dragons in D&D, &D, right? Dragons in D&D, &D, kind of smart for the most part. It might depend on what kind of dragon it is. Hey, the Bone Crusher wield. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. How do uh, how do Dragonborn work again in the D and D universe? Like someone fucked a dragon in their their ancestry, right? Did the dragon like take on a human form first? Like doing some Zeus type stuff? The short answer is yes. <laughs> Mmm. I am now an expert in Dolor. <laughs> Dragonboard created as a slave race for dragons. Oh, that's way less fun. 
<laughs> there are also dragon bloodline sorcerers that are 100% someone fucked a dragon. I love it, runes. is going so late. Thanks for clarifying. Transformed by a ritual. And not a not a sexy ritual. I think my interest in these dragonborn folk are uh, is dwindling. Mm. Yeah, right. Was there leather? Were there whippings? Was someone chained to a giant altar? I'm gonna grab this pyrokinesis, because free spells are awesome. I kinda dig probe with the uh, the prowess critter and arcanist. Yeah, it's a good probe. Maybe it'll be good, who knows. Yeah, see, I think I'm supposed to be taking that Athari. Our streak of taking free spells? What one did I pass? Oh, we didn't pass one. There just wasn't one. It still broke the streak because we did pyrokinesis in a probe. I see. I see what you're saying. Just ran out of... Yeah. Ooh, a clampy. A clampy wampy. In my decky wecky. How long do you think I could talk like that? Do you think I could talk for a whole stream like that? I could not. You're on subby well being. <laughs> I think it's only funny if I could do it for like a really long time and everybody could like act like it was normal. So people, new people would show up to the stream and be like really confused. Oh, it is always talks like that. That's his thing. That's what we love about our Caleb, <laughs> Caleb Bubby Wubby. Mm. I was like weirdly tempted, tempted by that battle sphere with the cradle here and a skull clamp. We could get there. We could get there. I could do it. Yeah, hey, that's how we talk, you walkies, exactly. Am I planning to stream Monday? It's Tuesday right now. Oh, it's Monday, April 1st. Yeah, I'm planning on it. Use a VTube avatar for like a week. With big old knockers. Are there... Are there dude VTubers? I've only seen, like, anime... High pitch voice, big, big like chest breastily bouncing. You know, it seems like a real specific thing. Without a lot of variety. A couple weeks ago, someone said their kid thought that I was Sir Barrington for years. I mean, that's fantastic. It is Sir Barrington's stream, really. I'm just the face. You watch a streamer who's a bird sometimes. Hey, I like that. I dig that. That's a good life. Ooh, a firebolt. Boop. Where did I get Sir Barrington? I didn't, I didn't get Sir Barrington anywhere. That's not the dynamic of the relationship. Me and Sir Barrington met in the death pits of Morlock. We were both fighting for our survival in the arena in the arena of the uh, of the Almighty Slug Lords. And we just happened to be chained together. But through that happenstance occasion, a lifetime, a lifetime of, uh, of friendship formed. And I have been honored to be Sir Barrington's sidekick for a lot of it. I still remember his, uh, his knighting ceremony. Well, it was yesterday. He came with the property? No, 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 no. <laughs> Referred to me as a valet? No, like a more like a squire. He lets he lets me carry the sword sometimes. Why is he hiding me in a picture? He's holding the picture up. God damn it. The picture. That's a painting, Bremner. The original painting of Spring Bloom Druid. Quite striking in person. 
one of my uh, pieces of original magic art. I knew the Athari would wheel. Yeah, I'm really excited to add some white to this deck like I do every time. Was definitely my intent with this draft. All right, pack three, let's go. Give me the juice. I guess if we don't have the white mana for Athari, we can always pitch it, huh? We got three pitch cards now. Oh, here we'd be kind of hot with the bombardment. I mean, you don't want it otherwise. No offense, bombardment. Oh, sweet. This song's about fighting sharks. Big same, Danny. You'd fuck a shark up? Oh, yeah. Big same. Is that Oyer? Maybe it'll come back. Oh, no, Dagon Crow. Oh, no. There are laws against that. I think you're supposed to draft the Umazawas here. I'm going to take the Lightning Bolt. It's a burning faces kind of day, you know? It's a burning faces kind of day. Hmm. Hell of a gut deck. Just like every other deck. I wonder who splashed for gut more between me and J-Bro. I've had several just like straight white-black decks that splashed for gut. Because they needed damage. I personally enjoy playing gut when my opponent has life, and I would like to remove their life total. Mm, just a preference. What the shit is this? Probably not playing this bitter. Oh, got to the cube already, yeah. Yeah, I need to update my um, cube cobra or whatever. Jaxian Probo generally plays as a, as a spell, King Rob, but if you do have enough cantrips, they start to you can start to remove lands. The old ratio was like two or three. Two or three cantrips per land. But like if you were like not sure if you should play 16 or 15, probe could be a reason to go down to 15. Could be a tiebreaker. Yeah, the first time I played with Gut, it was in a lower powered cube, and it was like pretty fucked up Dragonheart. Yeah, the drummer's having a blast in this song. Ah, there's a duel there for the Athari, but there's also Monstrous Rage. Monstrous Rage is really good, right? I've been really happy with it. Yeah, fuck it. Who needs fixing? Not me. Good fixing is now what today's about. We can cut the Athari. We don't need it. You don't need good cards when you have tempo. You think it's better as mono red? Yeah, it's a little tempting to bleed because we got multiple white sources here for free, but. All we're missing is that oh, your wheel. It's coming, though. I can feel it. I can feel it in my giblets. I don't think fourth's that much different, Mark. Yeah, I like the, pro the prowess on spells here, but I think. Oh, your bombardment's fucked up. Yeah, we had the Prowess Lava Dart deck, and now we've got the Oyer Lava Dart deck. We'll see which, see which uh, steals more games for us. Do we like the Dread Horde? We got, like, three burn spells. I have Gomble Bombardment. I don't think I do, Mark. Surely I would have mentioned it. Like 10 times or so. Hey, Snow Schwartz sings the $5 donation. Hell yeah. Judgment could be cool with the, uh, the blood token, maybe. Yeah, really not sure about Cradle. I think because we have Mox Pearl and Mutavolt in here, I don't run it. 
my curve's not that high. Like we could hard cast a fury off of it or something. I'll pause this. We'll play Snow Schwartz's Star Quest. Some local New Zealand punk rock for your ears. Perfect. I was hoping for some punk rock for my ears. Is Smashing Hoons like drinking, slamming beers? Is that some New, New Zealand slang? Hey, bringer of Fubis thinks that 39 months. Sigs, okay. Hooligans, so it's fighting. Interesting. Waste all afternoon makes me think of, you know, slamming beers or something. <laughs> Counterspell, coward. Why don't you let my spells resolve? I'll let your spells resolve. We'll let them fight it out. Land, please. Probably should have attacked first and see if they blocked. But then I don't get the Firebolt prowess. You've heard it referring to cigarettes as well. Sure. What is this autoplay? <laughs> what is this autoplay? <laughs> Goes into, I've been listening to, to too much power metal. And that's what this means. So Gut would be the best damage here, but I'm going to Rebel Master in case they feel like countering or killing or whatever they're in the mood for him. Do I want to redraw this? I don't know. I, I guess not. Can you have too much Power Metal? You can. It's like asking if you can have too much candy. Power Metal is also pretty good with drinking, though. Should I pull the chat? I never pull the chat for music. All right, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put up my my three favorite drinking genres. And it's gonna be power metal. It's gonna be punk. Punk slash ska. Or folk music. Folk music has a lot of nice drinking tunes. And I think these are my three favorite, three favorite all type genres to day drink to. Classic not classic rock. I listen to a lot of classic rock. It's not making the not making the cut here. Not one of the options. Country. There's some con country adjacent uh, tracks in the folk metal playlist, or I'm sorry, the folk uh, playlist, but not a ton of country. Irish sea shanties. A lot of those on the folk playlist. Yeah. Oh, uh, this fucking mind twist. My hand was so good. Well, we still have this Chandra, huh? Maybe it'll do something for me. No, I misclicked. God damn it. That's kind of a bad misclick, too. Because, like, even if it was a whiff, we, like, would have dealt damage. And they're close to this virtue. Like, we need, to, we need to do something here. We need to apply pressure. Now they play virtue, and then they get to start reanimating things. I think I'd rather have a 1-1 one, one here. And the extra mana, right? Just in case. What are they going to get back? Shark, maybe? I feel a little bit better, Triflin. I'm gonna 
intentionally make some mana. Looks like folks crushing it. That's what the people want. Well, that fucking sucked. You can activate the token, text Chandra. That's fine. Chandra can dip. Maybe it's not fine. 15 for one yourself. I mean, the, um, the firebolt was chilled in the graveyard. So it's like a two for one. God, they're just not like not a low enough life. If they were at like less than ten, I'd feel pretty good about my spot here. Okay, they're gonna give the double strike to the the token, so they can clear Chandra here. Do I have stir fry tips? I, yeah, I've been mixing in um, Gochujang. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it. G O C H U J A N G to my stir fries. And it's given it a nice, like, slow release heat that I enjoy a lot. But yeah, I mean, stir fry is easy as shit. That's the, the benefit of it. Real simple. Gochujang. The difference between this and country music? Um... <laughs> That's a good question. You could call this country. It wouldn't be, like, offensive or anything. Country is like, so folk music has, country is a very American uh, genre. And when people think of country, they usually think of like a pop country, right? Like stadium fillers or Hank Williams or something. But folk music is just music that's made by folks. And it's universal. Like um, a lot of the folk music that you would hear in America, like if you go to a barn dance, We'll have like Irish roots, like Celtic folk music, which will give you slightly different like lyric styles and the like. Oh, wow, that's brutal. Yeah, we could upkeep the delayed blast, but I wanted to make sure that they were going to attack with the token so I could make that trade. If you upkeep the delayed blast, then they just like, keep the 4 4 bank, and then you still have a 4 4 to deal with. Hey, Sapro. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the 69 months there. Country very often has a twang. People refer to the country twang in like lyrics. You'll hear it in the vocals. And uh, it grates on me. It grates on me a lot. Fuck 
folk music is much more likely to be like some asshole with a guitar. Yeah, let's see what Spawn wants to listen to here. It's the five bucks Spawn. Ah, some rum janks. Yeah, speaking of uh, of uh, Celtic folk music, hum. Huh? Yeah, the oral traditions common with folk music for sure. Tyler Edders. Hell yeah, ready in. Saffro with a 69 month sub. Nice indeed. Folk country exists. Yeah, I mean, there's always genre blends, right? That's nothing new. The question was asking about the differences. Oh, they have a daze. They have a daze for my Chandra here. It's a bummer. But if we don't play the Chandra, then they just like get to start mind twisting me and pack ratting and stuff and memory lapse. I think I cast it. Make them daze. Oh, they fucking have sixed. <laughs> All right, lose my Chandra then. You gonna mind twist my last card? They are not. Damn. You want to play your land before you uptick Chandra. You want to have the man. You have to like decide whether you're going to cast it immediately, so you can't like see the card and then play your land. I don't think we have any four drops in here anyway, but I guess Lava Dart's good against Pack Rat. Why does Untap GG keep on popping up here? Maybe I want them to play the Pack Rat, huh? With my Fireball, I'll just foretell it. Other foretell cards? I think it's just this one. I thought about just fucking fireballing. Click my, my lava axe or whatever. Have a weak fireball, huh? When we have a lava dart that could answer it too, and they have a pyromancer in hand. I feel like getting them to six is really good when we have the Chandra, though. I don't know, maybe it'll maybe I'll be proven wrong here. Are we looting away mind twist. Yeah, that was my guess. Hey spawn, these the five box. Nah, I mean, I don't think so. Now when I draw Bolt, yeah, but we, I mean, we also had Chandra going. There's like other burn spells in the deck and stuff. Mm. I was in a killing them kind of place. Spawn's got a summer quest that's country, but not the twangy kind. I'll give it a shot, Spawn. I've skipped a lot of country country requests. But there is some of on the on the playlist too, so figure that out. This is an unoffensive opening. 
Is that a stomp pad? It sounds like a stomp pad. Yeah, this is that edge, huh? Be between country and folk. Got that nice blues influence. I dig it. Very descriptive lyrics to good songwriting. The song's two chords and it's great. <laughs> why? I mean, why? Why would you use more than you need? <laughs> what was that lyric? Strangers cry in foreign tongues and dirty up the doorstep. Jesus Christ. That is a that is an oofta of a line. I like the rest of it though. Now that's the difference between country and folk. <laughs> you figured it out. Yeah, the sleeper getting out of fireball range is concerning. I mean, if my stuff's resolving, then like next turn we get gut rolling. Just need to not get mind twisted here and we'll be all right. Hmm. Won't left up a lot of mana here. Pump it with a Rabble Master first, right? Because we're about to eat a goblin. I'm a little bit worried about Fiery Confluence here, or a Fireball of their own. I was thinking about playing Lava Mancer. I think I'm just going to pass. Looks like I'm getting super punished for not running out the Lava Mancer. Yeah, Lava Mancer plus uh, Delay Blast Fireball could have cleared a lot of the scary shit here. Getting pretty punished for playing conservatively. Hate to un, thanks about 37 months. Yeah, right, a very soft sheen. I have a friend that makes sure to wear um, a rainbow patch. Because they're bald and go to a lot of punk shows and stuff. Want to make sure not to be mistaken for a skin skinhead. Kind of relying on this fireball to resolve, which is not the best spot to be in. Hell yeah. Are we flipping this game? Are we back in it? Monster roll gives plus two plus so. It also puts a monster roll on the token. Monster's Rage here.
put the monster roll on the token. The monster roll gives plus one, plus one, and trample. So it gets to keep a little bit of value. It gets to keep a little bit of something, something. No! <laughs> this grief! <laughs> my rage! But all of my rage is just discarded, like, grief triggers. Ah! Hey, you been drinking tea? Thinks it's 92 months there. Day drinking? Hell yeah! Suppose. You lose the giant, which is a little annoying. Pot and we're in the spot where we can hard cast pyrokinesis. It's possible I'm just supposed to fucking attack with the fury and pass. Yeah, I, th I think that was maybe a little too aggressive on my part. The giant being a 4 3 here is pretty great. The good news is they can't just slam virtue because then they're dead to fury. This tracks country, specifically outlaw country. Same subgenres like Johnny Cash, which I tend to like. Oh, she went up. Hey, Wet B, things the 12 months. I don't think I should have put man into the figure. If they nuke my board, I'd want to bring back Pyromancer. Hell yeah. I want to keep this hand so bad. We got Bolt, Fury. We got to draw, redraw. Let's, let's keep it. Whatever. They use Accordion and Concertina Bunch. Yeah. I dig that shit. What's the major reason we're not running Valk? Because we're not cowards. Interesting. Yeah, I hold on to the Fury for now. Three rounds into Kate McKinnon. That's three more rounds. Cheers, everybody. Hey, Spawn, thanks for the $5 donation. Fucking snuff out. Might be a hard gas fury game. Really want to be able to hard cast in. They've got two removal spells in hand. If we play Oyer, they fucking bone shards it. If we play champion, they bolt it. Oh, when they kill it, I get a land though. And that'll let me hard cast the Fury. And if I draw a land, I can have Monstrous Rage up. So if they try and bolt the Fury, we get to blow them out. Cool. Well, so far I like how this is playing out. I 
I would like to counter your lightning bolt, please. We're gonna play this song, but we're gonna we're gonna pause it. We're gonna play Spawn's Request first. That track's one of my very favorites, but it's like ten and a half minutes long. So we'll play this uh, sixteen horsepower track first. Boing, boing, boing. The jaw harp is such a distinctive sound. When I was a little kid, I was like entranced by it, and I asked someone to teach me how to play it, and they tried to show me, and I super did not get it. <laughs> Yeah, that card's concertina. That's fucking familiar as shit. Right, Rage? Very easy to do. Do I have remorse playing red aggro? Absolutely not. My only re remorse is killing people too slowly. Just need one more point of damage. I'm gonna bring in lantern. We saw that necromancy. Let's bring in the lantern, huh? Cut probe or something. A little something, something. Uh, English, please, Elba. We can't moderate in other languages. An English language based stream. Yeah, I'd care less if I wasn't also like responsible for the moderating. Yeah, there's more pump spells, puncher's chance. Which helps aggro out a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, Bishop? <laughs> I feel like you're fucking with me, but that that also sounds awesome. Just excited about the deck. Very cool. They didn't say deck either. <laughs> oh man. Rip my lotus petal, huh? Yeah, they have enough removal. Maybe I should just only be playing things when I can put a clamp on it. I don't know, Nick Spears. I've had a lot of turn speed kills today. Maybe not a lot, but I've had some. Really want to wait to put a clamp on this, but I'm just going to play it. Might not have all the time in the world. That Atali in their bin, hum. Oh, this is this is sweet, but not the vibe. I promise more Ricky Skaggs. One more burn spell, we can get Oyer back. That could be hot. Activate Muta Vault, put Clamp on it, bolt it, draw two. <laughs> You're good, Spawn. You're good. Uh-oh. Am I dead? So this is really good, but it's not, like, game over. We're at six. Not a lot of life, right? We're one red away, right? From making this a a biggin. This is Ricky Skaggs. Ricky Skaggs and Bruce Hornsby. Fair enough. To game three we go. 
I wonder if Lightning Greaves is where it's at. Just get around the Sorcery Speed Removal. Got this Judgment card. It's not that good here. Yeah, we already brought our, brought our Lantern in. I always can discard out of them. I wonder if I should play that Mox Pearl or hold it. They have red, so they could have Shatter Effects for the Pearl. Or they have black, so they could have discard. I don't know. What version is this? This is off the album Cluck Ol' Hen. Where's Bluegrass on the Country Folk Divide? Oh, I, I have Bluegrass as folk music. I'm maybe not the best judge of that. I had a big bias against country music for a long time. The town I grew up in was like small town, northern woods, Wisconsin, right? And we only had two radio stations, and there was a classic rock station and the country station. And I grew up around folk music. You know, my folks would take me to barn dances. We'd go to folk festivals and stuff. But country music always just fucking grated on me. Something about the the twang of the lyrics and stuff, and like a lot of repetitive. It, it's the same issues as pop, right? Where like a lot of it's like cookie cutty cookie cutter songwriting. Really simple premise, rep repeated ad, ad nauseum. So I associate a lot of um, a lot of genres that I like with. Uh, I put them on the folk side instead of the country side. <laughs> That's not necessarily fair, but. I've not heard the Lost Dog Street Band. I feel like this Lightning Greaves might be insane. So I took the turn to play it instead of running out of year there. Not familiar, big. I was fucked up. <laughs> What are you at? Less than 12? Well, I've got a Lava Dart and a fucking Epicure here. So. <laughs> uh, good shit. Excellent shit. I've got Apes of the State coming up next. Some folk punk. I was actually, um, I was uh, I was having a conversation the other day with my, my girlfriend, and she used Apes of the State as, a, um, as an example of uh, a band with, like, really bad songwriting and I was really perplexed um I was like no that no that band rocks <laughs> I'll have like talk to the lead singer it's great usually we don't uh, disagree on that sort of thing so I was like I played a track and she was like oh this is not who I meant and apparently there's a band with an extremely similar name mates of state she was talking about mates of state. <laughs> Which I did not know existed. But yeah, almost the exact same name, um. Boop. You just went to see them recently? Oh, we have some state. Nice. Was it was it a sweet show? Did you have a good time. I might have to skip for, like back to the halfway point of this track on accident. God damn it! God damn it, me. The classic mix up, yeah. Oh sure, rage sauce. That seems like it's something that would happen. Unfortunately, a very often amount with that particular genre.
Rife's got good taste, Synthetic. Hey, Taylor NB, thinks of 14 months there. Legolas's quick reflexes. What a blowout. Bait deployed. I mean, if the auger just blocks, then we flash back Firebolt on our second main. That would have been fine, too. I think I might be... What's the word? There's a technical term for this. Fuck ruddered? Buttle scorched. I don't know. Not in a good place. <laughs> the sudden on F6. <laughs> hold, 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 hold. I really like when she comes in with that, like, growl right at the start. Eh, excuse me. You know, it's, it's fun. Never gets old. I emailed them a long time back. Got a very nice response. Very kind response about using their tunes, listening to the jam to their tunes on stream. Left me with a very good impression of that band, Apes of the State. Hmm, well that's bad for me. This game has just not been going well, you know? You notice that? Yeah, White Rocro. Very, very folk punk mentality. Crepes of State. Love that. Oh, man. This, this is too much. They got Crocus plus Arwen. Yeah, you win. You win. You win. Yeah, you got it. <sighs> they just wanted it more than me. That fucking Caracas is concerning. We have a few legends in here. I think the overload on Fireball might be good. We just need uh, some tempo. We need some pressure. Pressure, pressure. They could have played another land, but chose not to there. Leave it to White Boy 316 to ask why we're not splashing for Athari. We are day drinking and burning faces, friends. I think I'm gonna bolt face. Let's bolt face. I like Lava Darting the Noble. I also like just serving and playing the Bone Crusher. 
Gut's pretty bad here because we know about the swords. Oh, that's got split second. This fucking Legolas's quick reflexes keeps dicking me up. So they're going to do that, and then they're going to be energetic growth and eat my Lava Mancer, and that's going to suck. Oh, they paid life for that? Oh, because it doesn't have haste, I see. Okay. Oh, but they can crew, and that'll deal damage. This is all very rough. This is all very rough for me. I don't think I want to pitch cast to kill the smugglers. What a brutal turn. We knew about the mutagenic. We did not know about Legolas's. If we had one more mana, I would have let on the Lava Dart. Yeah, losing the Lava Mancer was pretty brutal. With them at six here, like, pretty nice source of damage. Green Sun for three. Fucking 2-2 two, two indestructible. Swords down. I'm so fucking sick of Krakus. I'm just over here like, well, if they don't have a Krakus, then a uh, gut can do something. We can maybe sneak some damage in. Yeah, it's not you know, like not even just good with the Arwen, right? It's like also good against my shit. Is the frustrating part here? If it was just like Krakus plus Arwen, like cool synergy, good beats, GG. But it also prevents me from like using my stuff to beat it. Magic blows, sort of. I mean, they're like playing mana dorks, and we're playing lava dart. We got them down to five. If they didn't, hadn't hit Legolas's earlier, they would have just been like dead by now. I imagine if you like could sandbox this and play it ten times, you'd end up even more often than not. But anytime they're going to combine Krakus and Arwen, like at that point, the game's in a rough spot. They can get to the late mid game that way. I know I can't fury this thing. All right, good enough for me. Next. Lifelink? Yeah, I mean, we can beat Lifelink if, you know, the creature's killable. <laughs> Krakus by itself was beatable. 